so achy. Go protein bar. <laughs> <laughs> Eat breakfast. And I have all my power back. Great breakfast. It's a great starter before we eat Indian food again. <laughs> Got the finger, travel fingerboard. Gonna do some warm ups. Um, once I fully ruptured an A4 pulley, uh, when basically on the big wall and just starting when I was too cold. Um, so I can just basically do hangs with this. What fingers, I can kind of like roll them up into crimps because I kind of crimp everything. And then I can kind of like just do some like drop backs on these to kind of like recruit some power. Uh, I can also hang for a while just to kind of get the blood in. Uh, it kind of, if you turn it one way, it's kind of like a sloper. It kind of takes quite a lot of, um, quite a lot to hold it. So we're always surrounded by these swifts. They live in the cracks on the wall. Uh, and they're just like flipping around. You might not be able to make them out on the camera. But they're amazing and they're just like flying out of this like big bay of rocks um, they are doing that all the time until a peregrine comes along and around this corner there's a peregrine falcon nesting um, and they're like the fastest birds on earth i think they're the fastest mammal and they can kind of dive at 250 miles per hour at max speed which is insane um, i've actually been on el cap and i've just seen one come from above full speed like just insane it's really amazing what are you doing, Tama? <laughs> Just installing some solar panels on the big wall. It's really <laughs> Is it scary? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might think so right before you do it, though. <laughs> I definitely might think so right before I do it. Please just relax. Lean back on the rope. You're gonna swing around to me. And then I'm gonna swing out. Yeah. Sure. Just, just lean. I'll just put mine when I get lean, out. Lean out. Just sit on the rope. I can speed you out. Here we go! <laughs> oh. You could say this wall is overhanging. <laughs> I pee a little bit. The more you drive those feet underneath you, the easier it is. Yeah. And you're doing less work with your arms. Just about to release the whole bag. This is the Monta Mule. Bit. And at the top there's a Munter hitch. So now now the bag out. Nice and easy. No stress. How's the relief? So this first bit coming up here. Uh, kind of hard yesterday, but on, well I'm on top right, but this morning, got it first go. That's encouraging. Just need to do the rest. I'll say okay, just have a little rest, try and work it out. Okay, I worked it out. You come up this rail, and you come in here. I just went in there, it's completely wet. Completely wet. Could not hold it. And then I think you can kind of like jam your way along the crack and then something else. I can't get in there. Oh man, that's annoying. I think I threw five pitches. 
than all the moves apart from someone's on the roof. And basically, actually, all the moves which aren't wet, I've done. So that doesn't mean I can do the ones which are wet. Um, I have to try and find out and see. I mean, I haven't climbed much of granite before, so I can't expect to be like suddenly really, really good at it. Um, but the great thing is, I'm here for another five or six weeks doing those kind of it's got like repeated some, probably did 15 pictures of relatively hard granite up to 70 plus stroke 8 day. I'm not sure which, how hard, but you know, just trying these moves, working those pitches. Feels like I've learned a lot already just doing that. Hopefully, it will dry out, um, see how it goes. It's really difficult to climb when it's wet, you just hit a, like a wet, like slopey, like the holes are like ground smooth from so many camp placements from A climbing. So when you hit it, when it's wet, there's just no friction and you're just like blah, blah, blah. Uh, and, it, and mentally it, it's much harder when it's wet because um, you just don't feel like you can hold it and you kind of get a bit wigged out. Um, and, and the more tired I am, the more kind of conservative I feel with my gear placements. Definitely like, was taking longer whips at the start than at the end I was placing more gear. The first few days I was like, oh, well, I don't know if I even want to do this. It's greasy and dirty and like it's hard. <laughs> Um, but after coming up it and kind of starting to appreciate the, the harder pitches, I'm feeling a little bit more psyched about it and I think I will come back. Just need it to dry out. Tangle party. Look at this mess. <laughs> All right, come down over here okay. and we'll sort this stuff out. Woohoo! Top of my first big wall. Yeah. This night, he brought me all the way up. <laughs> Let's get down. Yeah. The fly, portal edge, backpack, and guess what that is? If you know, you would think it was gross. <laughs> if you don't know, if you do know, you might think it's fine. <laughs> Glad you're testing it out for us. Just made it down to the bottom. We're in the forest. It is past sunset, but it's still kind of light out. Hopefully we make it back before dark. Either way, I am really psyched for whatever it is we end up eating for dinner. Because I'm really hungry. But this has been really fun. It's been a good time. First big wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs>